Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to use limit in MySQL query. So limit is used to restrict the number of records returned by the query. So let's take a look on the demo and understand the details. So we have table customer with the column ID customer, first name, last name, age, phone number, date of birth, and gender. I have inserted five records in this table. Okay, so let's uh, select the data from a uh, customer table and we can see all the records uh, now if uh, the let's uh, suppose uh, this customer table has uh, 1 million records or 5 million records uh, and a developer i just need to get some uh, sample uh, records see how exactly data look like uh, so i don't need to say select asterisk from uh, customer asterisk means uh, all the columns and uh, i didn't put where class here after the customer table so i am getting all the records so in case you have three million record and somebody just run this script uh, this uh, select statement maybe you have three or four developers who are working on it and they'll, they'll leave uh, those select statements open uh, and go for lunch or something even they don't really need to use it then still they are using the resources uh, and the application uh, can have uh, some problems now with limit uh, they can uh, restrict what they want to return so maybe just for the sampling purpose uh, in case uh, i would like to see only a couple of records so i will say limit two you can see that uh, i'm selecting all the columns it doesn't matter whatever the column you are selecting two three four or all the columns from a table then at the end you will say limit number of uh, records you want to return um, so in case uh, 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 we have written this query it is returning us uh, two records uh, so you can see that uh, only two records are returned if you want to return uh, four records or whatever you can change the count and it will return you accordingly now here we did not uh, sorted anything so it is returning whatever the, in the table order so if I will say order by ID customer and uh, now it is uh, ascending or descending is my choice so I can put that and then uh, now I will take a look here so you can see we are ordering so if you need to select top uh, five records which are inserted in a table or, or the last records inserted in a table uh, so you can use that uh, if you have ID customer that's auto increment you can always just uh, uh, do ascending or uh, ascending or descending order and get the top records the very first records inserted in that table or very last records in the, inserted in that uh, table and uh, here you can see that now if I want to get to the sum records from the range let's say if uh, this customer table have five records we can see that I don't want to get um, I just want to ignore these top two and get uh, uh, these two of them okay so I can do that as well so it doesn't matter I know the IDs or not but I just want to ignore those two or three records on the top and then get the next two or three or five or whatever the records I want I can do that that's called the offset so if I will use offset 2, it means it's going to ignore these first two records and start from here. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take a look. In this case, we should be getting this record, number 3 and number 2. So that's how it works. Now, if I don't have a descending, in that case, I'm going to go ahead and run this query, show you the results. And it is returning us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And now, if I would like to get the three records but I want, don't want these two records from the top or let's say you, I don't want the first record so I can always offset one that means starting point leave this first one and start from here and then I'm returning three records so in this case I will be returning two three and four okay go ahead and uh, run so you can see the results so with the limit, uh, whatever the order you have, uh, you will put it here. Uh, so select all the columns from the table or whatever the columns you need. Then use order by class in case uh, you want to uh, order by name or ID or something. And uh, with the limit, uh, that tells how many records you would return. Offset tells you how many to ignore or starting point for those records so it is uh, whatever the data set you will get with this uh, select statement then uh, offset is going to ignore the uh, or position your uh, query to the uh, let's say you have offset one it is it will ignore the first two record and uh, if you have offset two so it will ignore two records from the top and then return you the record whatever you have provided in the limit all right thanks very much for watching this video and i hope this will help and i will see you guys in next video